So in summary, there are many reasons for the respiratory symptoms in vasculitis patients. Causes of these need to be determined in an organized fashion, and active disease needs to be differentiated from damage and from treatment complications, as all of these can lead to abnormal chest imaging studies, to respiratory symptoms ranging from shortness of breath to cough, to low oxygen levels in the blood, and we need to identify reversible and treatable causes of these symptoms so that we can treat them appropriately. And with that, I'd like to switch to the questions, and I hope we have enough time for going through the questions that were submitted and then maybe answer a few more questions that were submitted in, in the chat box. Well, we will do our very best. That was a fabulous presentation, Dr. Spex. I feel like um, so many things were answered in that presentation. Uh, I'll get started with some questions if you're ready. I think so, um, the comments we're getting is that it's been an awesome presentation so far, so we appreciate that. 